Hello from Sonic Temple in Columbus, Ohio. I'm Lou Brutus. To my right, your left, Elizabeth Lizzie Hale and Josh Jodawa Smith. It is lovely to see you two again. It's great to see you, man. So great to see you. You know, you guys, uh, it's ridiculous anymore. You have done basically every place there's an arena or a theater or a club to play on this planet. But I still always come back to your first appearance here in Columbus, Ohio, yep. when it was Rock on the Range. Now that you've had X amount of years since that day, can you put it into perspective and what it ended up meaning in the long run for you guys? It's, it, it's crazy that you bring that because literally since two days ago, we've been talking about our first, uh, it, that was 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, that was a decade ago and we had just released our first single, I Get Off, and we were playing, I think it was the Jaeger stage, right? It was. I, I remember driving our, our old yeah, yeah. RV in right. the morning, you know, seven in the morning, like driving through to the Jaeger stage and getting ready to do our thing and yeah, we're still doing it. It's yeah. it's fantastic. It's it's really crazy. I remember, uh, and then I was just talking to like our our guitar tech and our security guard because we're walking through, and I remember being so like, th it was so new and 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 you know you see Corey Taylor walk by, we're like whoa that's crazy and like and now we're <laughs> friends with him. You know, it's like one of those things where it's like now, um, it, ten years later, it's it, it, it we're past the handshake. You know, it's like now we've established ourselves as as. As a, as a competent band, <laughs> worthy, w uh, worthy, <laughs> worthy of of, of more yeah. gigs, um, and uh, and it's crazy because like now like it w we have a dressing room and like those the little things and like we're in a bus now and and um, even little bro yesterday uh, R J was like hey remember last time we were at Rock in the Range and like somebody like invited us up onto their tour bus because we were in an RV at the time and was it Bouncing Betty was it, that her I name think no 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 that was Storm that and Norman was, that was the first one oh the okay. very not Bouncing Betty yeah. was later though. Bouncing Another Betty was RV. number two. Yeah, yeah. We, we we drove that guy to the ground. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was in a '92 Coachman Santero. It was like the color of urine. <laughs> yes, it's like a yes. shoebox. The a color nice, of urine. Living the a dream. Nice mild, mild, uh, unhydrated urine. Um, <laughs> beautiful. Good year. Um, unhydrated urine, by the yes. way. I think that's one of the tunes on the forthcoming Tool album. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Maynard. Yeah, no, awesome. Continue. I'm so no, sorry. But it, it's really cool, man, because like I remember like we got invited to a couple people's buses and we were so awkward on them. We're just like, do we sit there? People would ask, like, do you want water? We're like, no, you know, like, I don't know. We're so well, awkward. It's all so clean. You know, <laughs> it's so clean in here. Yeah, it doesn't smell like socks. And um, and and then little bro was like, you know, and now it's crazy because now a tour bus is a part of our normal life. And we like it's just one of those things where it's like we just don't we love doing these things because it's it just kind of it prevents us from taking anything for granted. It's it's really cool. You know, um, right before I came to see you, I was uh, looking through the itinerary of everything you have coming up, and even by the standards of Hailstorm, and you guys have always <laughs> been tour dogs, uh, it's awesome and brutal at the same time. Two European jaunts, yeah. Australia, and of course this summer with one of the great rock stars of all time and one of the nicest people on the planet, Alice Cooper. I'm so excited. Yeah, no, the, the Alice Cooper thing is, is definitely we're ticking that off the bucket list. We've done a couple one-off shows with yeah. him over the years, and we've gotten to know him and his family. Um, but this is the first time we're on a, a full-fledged tour with him. And, and you should know that Alice Cooper is the reason that I found out I was not cool when I was a kid. So here's, here's a, I'll, I'll try to make a long story short. But so my parents moved to a new place when I was 11 years old. Um, at this point in time, I was already being introduced to, to, I loved Alice Cooper, I loved Dio and Black Sabbath and Deep Purple. And the kid was brought up van right. Vanilla Fudge, that kind of thing. Um, don't judge me for that one. You just um, keep me hanging you know, on. Oh, it's still one of the best covers of that song. Um, but uh, so moving to a new place, don't know anybody there. A couple of the neighborhood girls invite me to a sleepover. So... You might see where this is going. They're, they're basically, they were like, so, you know, hey, bring some of your favorite CDs. We're going to, like, listen to everybody's favorite music, and we're going to do our, each other's makeup, that whole thing. Millie right? Vanilli, I'm 11. Vanilla I'm 11. Fudge. And, uh, and so what I end up bringing um, <laughs> to the sleepover. The yes. Yeah. I, I end up bringing to the sleepover uh, Alice Cooper's Love It to Death and, uh. and Dio's Holy Diver. So... So in the midst of all this, this is nine. You, this is ninety six. So this is like TLC, 
Backstreet oh, Boys, God. that kind of thing. Well, why don't you just bring the killer album from Alice Cooper and play him Dead Babies I, and just well, get it over with, you know? I, I, I think, I, I don't remember specifically, but my dad says that we did have a discussion about this and the, those were, <laughs> those were the, at 11, those were the things I wanted to bring. Anyway, so we, we get there and, and I, it's funny, I reconnected with one of my friends from that sleepover recently and, and she was like, we were talking about this story, but um, so I don't, we get around, they're playing, you know, uh, Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls, and there's a bunch of other things going on. Oh, let's listen to Liz's CD. Put in the Alice Cooper CD. We didn't make it past the first chorus. It was like halfway through, and it's and it's over. And they're like, yeah, let's put a, let's put Tara's CD back on. Um, and so I remember going back home, and Dad was like, how's the sleepover? And I'm like, well, it was fun, but they didn't like my music. And Dad being Dad, you've met yeah, my father, of right? of course. So, um, so dad's a little wacky. A dad, rocker born yes. and bred. So dad's like, well, that's good. I'm like, dad, why is that good? You know, I'm 11 year old. <laughs> I'm like, why is that <laughs> good? They don't like my music. What is? It? He's like, well, because they like all of that music because it's on the radio and, and people in school think, that, you know, okay, you're supposed to like it, but you love this CD. You love Alice Cooper because you really love it. It's a part of you. And so, of course, like me, like being 11, I'm like, whatever, Dad, my life is over. <laughs> um, but it's funny to retrace that. I told this story to Alice. I'm like, it's weird to retrace where that origin comes from mm. because that ended up being now, that's my mission statement as, as an adult. This is why there are songs like Freak Like Me. There's this why there are songs like I Get Off On You, Getting Off On Me. It's why there's songs called Familiar Taste of Poison, you know, is because of that monumental moment of you need to own your weirdness you, you so, could also say scarred for life also and scarred for through, life but I, I get what you're saying <laughs> yes Alice Cooper scarred way, me for way. life she, but in a good way she, she wears that wound proudly yes it's still open and yeah. just <laughs> but but again you, you know in 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 uh maybe a funny silly kind of fun way uh it gets to the point that um it's it's out of suffering or adversity that the greatest art is is pulled absolutely and and that's kind of how you find you know you find your inner you it's like that's without going through those things you don't know that those imperfections mm -hmm. what you think are imperfections amongst your peers are actually what reveal who you are and your true beauty which is like just kind of i just got all philosophical on you but oh, but it's like literally like it's crazy to like look back on that and then be like we, oh we're going on a tour we, with the guy that literally taught me i was weird it's cool we <laughs> talked alice cooper Mm -hmm. slumber parties oh, yes. and and deep philosophical discussion yeah, I mean, uh, you that, know that covers some pretty good <laughs> bases in 10 minutes it's like we just had our own slumber party you know kind of yeah. okay let's let's up the weird do you remember boy if that's not a song title <laughs> coming it should <laughs> be let's up the weird let's up the weird guys do you remember um i don't know if it was the first rock in the range it, it might have been the second one where, uh, did I you, do something stupid? Well, I I remember this is literally did something stupid time. I, re I remember fashioning you. I think it was a vial of my bathwater. Oh yeah. Do you remember I that? I still have some of that. I, I gave did, it away. You yeah. Gave, yeah. <laughs> just, you gave just away Lizzie's bless you, my child. Bless yeah. you. <laughs> I, get, I, I gave some of it out in like the little brown vials that most people put cocaine in. I was putting your bathwater in. <laughs> And See, I think some people said they snorted it. I swear to God. Well, you know, if you're trying to get over your cocaine habit, my bathwater is pretty a pretty good. It's a level down, but it's still going to give you that that still that happy buzz and an opioid, or a, a lizioid perhaps. Lizioid perhaps. It's a lizioid, even <laughs> even more dangerous. Uh, one real quick wrap. Um, I know you guys are probably, and the last time you and I were in the middle of the night back and forth, uh, we were talking possible cover songs for the next cover song EP. Oh, I know, right? What's the chance of an Alice Cooper song? Ooh. What's the chance of something else? And and I'll hammer in the two songs I still think you should do, and I know you're not going to do Please them. Please do it. Uh, Kiss, I Stole Your Love. Oh. Or... That's a good kiss song. Long Island's The Good Rats Taking It to Detroit. Obscure tune. Nobody's ever heard it before. That's why it would be brilliant for that you That would do. be brilliant. I like those but choices. But what else are you guys thinking of doing? Oh, man. there's a, We have a list of like 20 right now. There's a bunch, yeah. We yeah. think we need to do a karaoke party just to like break the ice yeah. with some of them. Yeah, see what really gets the people going and, and use those, you know. Yeah. What, what, was the, what was the weird one we were talking I forget what the we were talking about the other day. Not the... Oh, no, that wasn't a weird one. I can't remember. Now I can't remember anything on our list, Josh. Help. 
Well, they couldn't have been that good. You should do apparently, my choices. Apparently, be better. Now, now we just have to do yours because there I don't you know go. Yours. Now you're talking. Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Smith, Lizzie Hale, I'm Lou Brutus backstage, Sonic Temple in Columbus, Ohio. Lovely to see you. Love you so much. Good. Where are you? Got him.